Hi there. I, after six long hours walking, I arrived to this little village. It's called Goraksep. It's this one, it's very little. And from here, I'll go to the place I never imagined I would be ever, ever in my life. From here, we'll go to the Everest Base Camp, which, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Everest is just here, 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 here is the tip. If I'm not mistaken, because I forgot to ask where it is exactly. But it looks like it is that one. And the Everest Base Camp is in between those mountains. It's somewhere... Fuck, I cannot say. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere here, here, there, 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 there. So tomorrow the plan is. Oh fuck! My eyes are so irritated. Oh. Okay, tomorrow we'll go to a place called Kalapatar, which is this one. <coughs> We will follow this road and go to the tip of this mountain, this one, to get a very beautiful view of Mount Everest. I'm not sure if it's this one, maybe because maybe it's behind all these mountains. I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I need to ask. What they told me is that the Everest Base Camp is somewhere here, in the middle. And in climbing season, there's it's full of tents. Now there are no tents. And something I have to add up to now is that it's been very difficult, extremely difficult, I would say. Yeah, here. Better. <clears throat> it has been very tiring so far, and uh, very challenging, I have to say. I think I needed to be more physically prepared. It was not enough, definitely not. I needed more training. It was not enough, but. I did what I could, that's for sure. I couldn't do more. I mean, with all combining the training with all the things I had to do at the university, I, I definitely did what I could. But I needed more training, definitely. It has been amazing so far. The view, the roads, everything, everything, every single second I'm enjoying, <clears throat> even when it's very hard, and every day it's very hard, that's the thing, it's not like, okay, today is a little bit more relaxed than yesterday, no, I mean, every day is hard. <clears throat> And I have noticed that sometimes I meet people on the way and they're like walking like nothing. You know, we are, the past days we have been walking at above 4,800. Now we are here at 5,100, I think. 5,100? Yeah, 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 yeah. 5,100. 
and I meet people and they're like, okay, it's tough, but they're not breathing like they're dying, like me. I really has to, I really have to breathe very fast when I'm walking, and when I'm climbing, it's even work worse. I have to stop several times, take rest. I'm not used to this, but so far I have done it to 5,400, which is great. I'm so proud of myself. I never thought I could be that high, <laughs> but it's tough. It is really tough. There are times that I, <clears throat> I felt. I feel I cannot go anymore and when I feel I cannot go anymore is when I know I have to keep going I don't know it's a little bit difficult to explain I realize being here in the Himalayas I realize what endurance is endurance means to keep going when you cannot go on anymore that's endurance <clears throat> and I have been in that point more than once seriously more than once so difficult and so far I haven't I don't know if it's my height and because of my height it gets more difficult because yesterday and today Oh, yesterday was crazy. Oh my god. Oh, yesterday. It was the pass. Chola pass. Oh my god. The most difficult thing I have ever, ever done in my whole entire life. Seriously. Chola pass. I had to walk through rocks. There was no way. I asked the guys, okay, uh, I don't see the way. And they just say, there is no way. So I had to go through the rocks, you know, very high, so difficult, so difficult. And yeah, I was going to the point of my height because for a person who whose height is about 170, let's say, if they have to climb a rock, it's like, okay, for them it's a step, for me, I'm 152. For me, it's like climbing the whole mountain, you know? I really have to stretch myself to reach from, from point A to point B. That's difficult. Then I had to do it at about, about 5,000 meters. Yesterday, the Chola Pass was 5,400. It was extremely difficult. Also the way down. I mean, when you are up there, you're just halfway because you have to go down. And to go down, it was so deep, so deep, really. I had to, I had to use my ass to come down, to be honest. I had to sit. <coughs> Certain times I had to sit on the rock and little by little <laughs> stretch my little legs you know to try to catch the other rock because I was not going to jump to be honest I mean if I jump I have the chance to get hurt and at this point I don't want to get hurt in the middle of nowhere you know in the middle of this amazing trip I mean I have to be walking very carefully and that's what I, I have been doing but it was so extremely difficult. The rocks were so huge, so big, and I'm so little. I, I felt so insignificant, <laughs> really. <laughs> Fucking huge rocks. What do you mean so little? Okay, I have to go from here to there. How? How? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I manage. The guide helped me, the, the, the porter helped me, 
the sticks help me, my hands help me, I manage, I manage. But it was, it was a very good experience, I have to say, very good at the end. When I was on, you know, I, we arrived to, to the village where we were going to stay and I was dead. I was gone, really. I couldn't walk anymore. I was so tired, so incredibly tired. I think it's because of the thing of my height, to be honest, because <clears throat> I had to basically climb the rocks, you know. So I spent more energy, I think, these days. I have been burning more than 2,000 calories per day. More than. And we have had a couple of um, rest days. And those days, okay, we don't walk 10 hours, but we walk five. And those days I only spend like, I only burn like 1,000 calories. But so far I haven't burned less than that. So you can imagine how I end up after after the trekking. I end up dead, really, really, really dead. It's not the same to be walking at <coughs> 2,000 meter than walking at 5,000 meter, like for example, what I did today. But I had a lot of motivation because tomorrow, tomorrow we'll go to the Everest Base Camp, which is amazing. I cannot believe it. And tomorrow it's going to be beautiful. So I have to take some rest. I already did a little bit meditation, enjoyed the view. Now I have to go back to the place where I'm staying and have some rest because tomorrow is going to be tough. Again. <laughs> okay. Bye.